good, everybody? It's your boy, Uncle Les. I'm Brian. I'm Josh. And together we are the Serengeti Boys, as proclaimed by Gambia, hailing from Serengeti Beach in the Gambia. What's good with you? And let me tell you something, guys. It wasn't an easy trip. You understand? It took a lot of hard work. And I think it will be a benefit to anybody who else is trying to get over here to Africa, Gambia specifically, or doing world traveling in general. You should know the ins and outs and the hardships that we went through so you wouldn't have to. You understand? Opening up a restaurant in a new country for the first time, first brick and mortar. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a big, big ask yeah. for anyone. But we did it. And yeah. so can you. Yes, you can. Let's talk about it. Yeah. Let's get it. Let's talk. Mm. Now, look. I have only been in this country for about six months, right. six or seven months. But my two brothers here have been here for about a year, so maybe they might know better than I do about certain hardships people go through when they try to open up a business in a new country. Which okay, got? let's start with one of the stereotypes about Africa that's actually very, very true. Mm. Look, it's hot. <laughs> it's hot. For sure. It's hot. That heat will sap your energy. That heat will slap you harder than your mama would. And we had that over it, to be honest with you. I have it. Well, it's because you're not listening to the, to the main rule. What's the rule? The main rule is this. Before you do something, drink water. While you're doing something, drink water. After you're done doing something, guess what? Drink water. And then when you go to sleep, drink water. Because guess what? It regulates your body temperature. You're to drink water while I'm sleeping. Before you go to sleep. Uh, and when you first wake up, drink some water. It's like being a car. Oh. Uh. The machine. The machine. You have to give it some coolant. Because mm -hmm. if you don't, you are just going to go down. You should probably be at the gym at some point in your life here just to get used to it. You should suggested. go to the gym. I haven't suggested. You really need to. Mm -hmm. Try to go to the gym without really? drinking water. What happened to you? Look at me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying. I'm first week here. Here. My first week here, I thought it was great. They got me out partying a little bit, you know. I was out here chilling, going to the beach, da 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 And one day, I thought I could just be out all day. Why not? Why not? I'm from the South. I'm from Georgia. ATL, stand up. What up? I know what heat is. No, no, you don't. You don't know what heat is. Truth you don't know what you know what being this hot is fire. Here. This is fire. This is fire. 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 Uh, fire. I, I think hot, I hot, hot, hot. did. I actually pass out. You almost you did. I was walking in a state of passing out, not passing you out. You were zombies. You were like for about thirty minutes, and even after I drank water, it was just replenishing what was lost. It's not a good look. Don't do it. Don't. We had to give him water and pray for him. Yeah, and it worked. One of them did. I'm not sure which. I don't know. <laughs> He's still alive, ain't he? I'm still alive. I see him, right? Now, the big one. This is a big one. It's probably the biggest one. The, the biggest. biggest one. Quite frankly, it is the biggest Huge. one. Huge. Biggest. The food. The food. And I look. Don't you look. Don't do that. Because what I'm telling you is the food is not bad. I'm not saying the food is bad. Not the food bad. is pretty good. But you have to know what you're getting into. Certain things are going to be missing now. For example, um, there's a level of spiciness that doesn't exist. There's a reason why uh, they have a, a stew soup thing called ebe, which is probably my favorite Gambian food. It's absolutely delicious. I love it to death. Nah. Here's the issue that happened to me. I love, you know, if you like wings in America, you can eat wings every day. And that's just what it is. If you like burgers, you eat burgers every day. If you like pizza, you eat pizza every day. If you like ebe, you should not eat that every day. Oh, this, and that's something they will tell you after you eat it every day, like I did. <laughs> and then I'm just indisposed for about eight hours, just in my bed, in the worst way. I want y'all to understand something about uh, life real quick. Those of you that understand, you know, that breakfast, uh, they don't really do breakfast like that here. There is no just, breakfast. Let me there's stop. no syrup. There is no breakfast There's here. no syrup. No. There's no IHOP. There's no Waffle right. House. If you think about a business, Waffle House, come to Gambia. I got you. But we have uh, Buru Adinyebe. What are you talking about? No. See that? No. You hear that? Say it again. What is it? Again? Buru Adinyebe. You see? Adinyebe. You hear how goofy that sounds? No. It's not. It's, it's not, not pancakes and eggs. It is it's not, not pancakes, pancakes and eggs. It's not waffles. But now you can get all these beautiful things at, at Serengeti Beach. Beach. We do provide breakfast, brunch, if you will. Uh, there is one other thing to be missing out here. Um, for those of you that like me and have a sweet tooth, I want you to know. This just became a video game for you, where it's consistently, you order something that's supposed to be sweet, and it may be a trap, like this. Uh-oh. I see a cinnamon roll inside of a little glass case, and I say to myself, I haven't had a cinnamon roll in like 
four months, and that was delicious. I'll get it. And then when I get this cinnamon roll and bite into it, it's not cream cheese. Hmm. Hell, it's not even icing. But what is it? It's mayonnaise. I'm Real talk. No cap. I've never had this cinnamon roll, but I've heard about it. Cinnamon bun. I've had, the one, I've had the one where they did it with chocolate, and I was like, bro, this is the it, trap. Looks, it looks kind of like the uh, the icing in the, uh, like the, the cinnamon one. Like the cinnamon one. The cinnamon the one. The I was like, this is chocolate. Nah, but, but they, they, they got some sweets from out here. KJ's is good. KJ's, KJ's got, cupcakes. They got cupcakes. And they got cinnamon rolls, and they straight, too. I got another one. Uh oh. Personal space. And I'm not even talking about how we are currently fudged up in here, like we love each other a little too much. It's more so about my car. You understand? Oh, there are no. Oh, let's, let's talk about Yo, driving oh, for a second. If you're from Atlanta or any any kind of major city, you know that we have like six lane highways, eight lane highways. Ain't no six lane. It's just ain't no none of that here. Four and a half. There is there is there's, there's a half. half a lane that everybody uses at their own discretion. Getting into traffic requires hand signals. Hey, can I can I go? Can I go? That's just why. stick it or just stick your car out. You stick, go ahead and be, you have, yeah. to, you have to take the chance. You gotta hold that they respect the stick out. Cause some of them gonna say, yeah. you know, they gonna keep on going. They gonna do the curve move on you. They gonna be like, yeah, and then. Yeah, they'll just go around you. Okay, so yeah, driving, just make sure you get that. And also parking, same thing. You might leave a restaurant or something, and then you come back and somebody's just leaning on your car. That's normal, that's okay. In the grand scheme of things, that's fine. Don't hit nobody for the leaning on your car like you would in the States. Because they will hit your car, they think it's nice. Oh, nice car. <laughs> Big facts. I know for me, uh, outside of the heat, there was the language barrier. Ooh, that was a big one for me, personally. I'm still trying to learn the local language, which is called Wolof here. So if any of my friends are coming down here, or anybody who's watching this video wants to come to Galveston, check it out, do some music or something with us, go ahead and learn like a hundred words. Be patient. You know, it's, patient. it's a hard one. Very, very patient. There are no words that sound like they're supposed to. No. For example, like we were just talking about water, that's duh. No, no. See, and, and actually, no. the thing is, our camera uh, crew in the background are, are Gambian women, and they are laughing at me currently. Right. What, what is it, Damahif? Damahif, because I'm hungry. Okay. Mm -hmm. you know Damahif, because I'm hungry. Because I don't want to go to bed. Okay. Yeah. okay. Oh, nope, um, Nala. I love, I love you. you. Uh -huh. Um, For for those of y'all come over here that are like, you know, single, I'm Sagor. It's an important one to know. Now, I want you to know, God, I wish I had a camera. Because <laughs> like, he said, Dama D, like, nope, not like, whatever you just said. I'm still going, they go like, you wait should, a minute, you why should, do you know that? <laughs> you, you shouldn't be saying that, but either way, make sure you learn the language just a little bit, a little bit. Uh, and also get used to this, especially if you're coming to Gambia. Uh, men, they will call you boy. I know where we're from. That ain't, that, that ain't, ain't the move. Boy. Son! <laughs> Yo, boy, boy, son, boy, son, how you doing? Just get used to it. It's not, it's not a term of offense. They're not calling you, you know. They're just saying, boy, that's their thing here. Just get used to it. That off. Are you crazy? That's what you respond with. But, are you mad? I'm all, I always want to help out the young players out there. Yangi nice. Hey, we we'll get you some places. Yangi nice. She, she seems a little bit disgruntled. Something's going a little wrong with your day with her. Just Yang say, nice. hey. They do life different, period. From the traditions, from being on time, and many other things. And you have to be patient and learn how they do things. Another thing that you probably need to realize is that there is a cultural difference here, right? In America, they have us all wound up in the rat race, you know? Be here, be there, do that, do this, do that. And then you go home around five, six, seven, eight, nine, whenever you go home. Uh, here, uh, well, we, we live on the coast, you know, thank God. So it's very much so a laid back sort of culture. There's not a, a hustle and bustle sort of about it. So you might be real eager to, you know, get your employees to do this or, you know, get some supplies or do this and do that. Like the boy told you, ah, just go with the flow. Just shout off. Just, just go with the flow. It ain't that kind of party, bro. And hear someone say, inshallah. 
about Inshallah. getting somewhere. Inshallah. Inshallah. Uh -huh. Okay, they may say Inshallah, but they just say Inshallah. <laughs> if you hear someone say it like that, I want you to know whatever they just said to you, they're gonna be three hours late <laughs> at best. Like, you know what, you know what, you know what it is? Hey, hey, all my people out there, y'all know like in different parts of the world, they have, we have different ways of saying, I'm gonna be there. Like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm right around the corner. Right around the corner. Me, I'm I'm around probably, the block. Me about 15 minutes later, right? I'm on my way. Wait. That being an hour. Yeah. In Gambia, inshallah. Three hours, bro. I promise you, I'm only three hours late. I got you. <laughs> what else you got? All right. Uh, yo, this one is a real, 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 real issue to this day. Um, transitioning funds. I highly recommend you figure out how the currency in whatever country you are going to, how that currency actually moves. What's its value to other countries? What's it like to get a transition to whatever you're used to? Like getting it into dollars or pounds or euro. Or seashells. Or seashells. Or, or, seashells. or, or bottle, cows. Or bottle caps. I don't know. Whatever you use its value. But I highly recommend you figure out how to get something that can either you can use the low currency to export and make money off of, or you need to get a connect on somebody who will buy your in-country currency. Be careful with your money. Careful. There's Western unions out here, so there's easy ways you guys can have access to your money. People will send money over to you. But just make sure that you go to the right places that are going to give you the best rates. Because some people, they'll give you 49, and then you'll find out some people will give you 53. And when I say 49, 53, that means 49 to lock it to $1 or 53 to lock it to $1. So just find those places where they give you the, the best rate possible. If you don't want to see a video on how that works, maybe you don't want a little bit more information on that. If you're really thinking about coming, you want to figure out how to convert your money, what all you can get for a certain amount of things. It's important. Tell us right down in the comment section below. Tell us. This is more that's a little laid back, but you know, you work hard, you play hard. And there's a typical way that Americans play hard uh, that I realize is a little different here. Um, if you think you dance, no, you don't. Uh, all the music in these clubs out here is very fast. A lot of a lot of drums, a lot of Sounds familiar. You know, a lot of bouncy, a lot of oh. you're moving. You're, there's not really a point where you can just slow up. You know, chill do out. what you're gonna do, grab a drink, chill out. No, if you're trying to be in it with like the thick of them, with the best of them, you're gonna lose some weight. Oh, I'm sorry, that was my alarm for you to dance faster. That was the best Shake it. Shake it. <laughs> Shake it. So that being said, everybody, thank y'all for watching with us. There's going to be some more trials and tribulations that we talk about. Any more challenges we come into, we'll definitely let you guys know. But for real, please ask the questions in the comments section. We will answer them. We're going to be doing some questions and answers. We'll be going live sometimes. So just holler at us. We'll get back with you. And please like, subscribe. Hit that bell, mm. smash that bell, mm. and you have a Serengeti day from the Serengeti boys. Deuce. Have a Serengeti day. Game day. <laughs> We're dripping in sauce. <laughs>